Are you available at the moment? I noticed that you're online. Can you spare a moment? Give me a call if you can. Oh, what a bother. Right now? Can't you see I'm busy? What's so urgent anyway? I'm currently out at the bar with my coworkers, and I definitely can't talk at the moment. If it's not something super important, it'll just have to wait, okay? I have tomorrow off, so we can deal with it then if you insist. But don't expect me to devote the whole entire day to it or anything. I need some time to unwind and relax. By the way, it's incredibly rude to be on my phone while I'm hanging out with my friends, so I have to go once again. Just try not to bother me until I'm done. Ugh, yeah. I'm sorry for upsetting you. I was just really worried while you were gone. Jeez. You seriously need to chill out and stop being so clingy. It's beyond annoying, you know? If you have something to say, just text it to me. But keep it short, okay? I don't have time for a freaking essay. Alright, I'll do my best. But fair warning, it might come off a bit blunt, just giving you a heads up. I wanted to talk to you about these credit card transactions I've been noticing lately. It seems like there are quite a few charges coming out of my account. What credit card? Our joint credit card. You know what I'm talking about. We only have one. You really try to call me just to talk about our spending? Yeah, I did. Sorry, but I think it's important. That's why I suggested talking over the phone. It'd be quicker, especially considering that there's a lot to cover and we won't have our information in written form. The amount is just alarmingly high, like an extra $2,000 on top of our usual monthly expenses. It's quite concerning, don't you think? I mean, do you think someone else might have gained access to our account and is using our money without our knowledge? I'm feeling a bit anxious because I don't recognize any of these purchases. I think you're overthinking this. It's nothing to worry about. I remember that. You do? So, you spent the money? As long as it wasn't a stranger, I'll feel better. My mom has been mentioning how much she's been wanting a new washing machine. Her old one broke a while ago, and it's become quite inconvenient for her to go to the laundromat, especially with her age and all, you know? So, since her birthday is happening this month, I decided to surprise her and bought a new washing machine. I thought it would be a nice gesture. It did cost me around $2,000, but considering the quality and features, it made sense. I guess I must have forgotten to mention it to you amidst all the excitement. Oops. <laughs> Isn't that a bit strange? You bought her an entire washing machine? Yeah, she thought it was too old. Entire washing machine? What do you want me to do, buy her half of one? <laughs> I mean, it's really sweet of you to do that for your mom. I can totally see why you'd want to make her happy, but that's a pretty big purchase. We should have talked about it beforehand, don't you think? So? It's my money. I can spend it how I want. It's not that big of a deal. My mom needed one, so I helped her out. What is wrong with that? Didn't she already get a new washing machine just a few months ago? It was working fine back then, right? And another thing... Why did you use our joint account for this purchase? Don't you have some savings you could have used instead? When it comes to gifts, they should be from you, not from our shared funds. You realize that money came out of the same account we use for rent and bills, right? What? You want me to pay the entire two grand by myself? I don't have that much lying around, you know? Wait, you're telling me you don't have two grand in savings? I feel like you should have at least some amount put aside for unexpected expenses. It's not like I've ever dipped into your savings or anything. I'm just curious, are you spending that much on other things? Well, it's not like it's going to bankrupt us or anything. We were already pretty tight on money, so in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't change much. We have enough to cover our bills, but we don't really have anything extra. I honestly don't understand why it's such a big deal. <laughs> Don't you think it's a good idea? We have at least a little savings. What are we going to do if something big comes up? Or an emergency? Okay, I get it, I get it. Please don't lecture me right now. Your preaching lasts for hours. Hey, I'm being serious here. It's important for you to really think about this situation. You can't keep avoiding things whenever they don't go your way. We're a team, 
And we need to work through these things together. Ignoring problems won't make them disappear. I'm not trying to preach or anything, but as a married couple, we need to face our challenges head on. Look, I don't want to sound jealous or unreasonable, but it does feel a bit weird that you spent that much on your mother and not on me. I can't recall you ever splurging like that for me. I'm not trying to start a fight or anything, but don't you think it's a little off? Why is that? Because it's a lot of money. It would be fine if we had that much, but we have no joint savings at all. That's the weird part. You think it's okay to spend as much as you want as long as we get just enough to pay for rent? It's not just your money now. We're married. We both need to work together to save up for our future. Oh, come on now. Seriously? You're really pushing my buttons here. It was a simple gift for my mom, so quit nagging me about it. I'm not blowing our money on some gambling spree or anything, so stop acting like I'm some sort of irresponsible maniac. Besides, it was a washing machine. Imagine trying to give someone a cheap washing machine that broke within a week. It made her happy. So that's all that matters, right? If she's happy, I'm happy. And that gift was all it took. I know it was a sweet thing to do. I just want you to remember that we need money too. And that savings could really help us in the future. Okay, I'll remember. Hey, it feels like you're not really hearing me out. Once again, you're just brushing me off without considering my point of view. If you were actually listening, you'd realize that we need to cut back on spending and find some common ground. Can you please pay attention? Or are you just going to ignore me like before? We need to have a mature conversation about this. That's why I suggested talking over the phone, so we can address these issues properly. Can you please cut it out? I already mentioned that I'm out having drinks with my friends. I just glanced at my phone for a moment, and you're already on my case. We're trying to have a good time here, so quit ruining the mood with your constant nagging. What exactly do you want from me? It feels like you're just itching for a fight. I don't want to fight about anything. You know, if I hadn't asked you about it, I wouldn't have had a clue where that money went. And speaking of which, why are you out with your friends again? It feels like you're going out almost every single night now. Don't you think it's a bit excessive to spend so much at bars? It's one of the reasons we're struggling to save anything. Maybe if you slowed down with the bar hopping, we could actually set some money aside for emergencies or other things we need. When are you going to quit? You're ruining my good time here. Just stop with the constant annoyance, will you? You're acting all controlling because you're jealous I'm not with you right now? Like, seriously. If your goal was to upset me, you didn't need to text me. Sharing the same bed is enough to do that. <laughs> Can't you just give me some space to relax and have fun? I'm not even going to bother responding anymore. We can talk when I get back. If I feel like it. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Stop running away. What time do you even plan on coming home? Do I need to make you dinner? Can you tell me anything, Alan? <laughs> Alan, pick up. I need to talk to you. Just answer. This is like the third time your mother has broken my stuff. Maybe more. I've lost count at this point. Can you please talk to her and tell her to knock it off? Just answer and I can explain. What is it now? What do you mean she's breaking stuff? You sure that wasn't you? <laughs> I've been telling you about this for ages. Were you not paying attention? I don't know. When did you tell me? So you weren't listening. Great. Your mother visited and broke the tablet I had just bought. I told you this yesterday. She said I shouldn't have something name brand because it's wasting money. So she broke it. She got mad about my new vacuum too. She said housework isn't supposed to be fun and told me to stop trying to make my life easier. She took my vacuum and kept it. This is ridiculous. She's completely overstepping her boundaries. You need to say something. Can you please just say something to her? She'll listen to you, but she won't hear anything I have to say. Why do I need to talk to her? <laughs> My mother isn't a nut job. 
I'm sure she had her reasons. They say you should listen to your elders, you know? Maybe she's right. What are you saying? It's just a tablet and a vacuum. She's done more good than harm. She's probably taught you a lot of good life lessons and stuff. Why don't you try apologizing to her? Why do I need to apologize? That's what she should be doing. She's breaking our property! I don't get why you're siding with her! I mean, chores aren't supposed to be fun. If you just use new technology, you lose your motivation to do things yourself. Things don't always need to be convenient. She's probably noticed how obsessed you are with the in things right now. She's trying to help you get away from that. So like, what do I need to talk to her about? Helping you? <laughs> just wait one minute. I'm so confused. How did you even stretch it to come to this conclusion? If I broke her stuff, would you think I was trying to help you? No, you'd be angry and think I'm a terrible person. Why are you defending her? Are you not going to help me at all? Well, that's different. If you broke something, you probably would do it in a fit of rage, not to help me. So of course I'd be angry at you for that. I lived with my mother my entire life, obviously. Of course I'm going to side with her. What? You're going to stick with your mother, even if I disagree? You're not her child anymore. You're an adult. Do you have an Oedipus complex or something? Quit it. Seriously. You're taking things too far yet again. Of course I don't have any kind of complex. It's not my fault you have a terrible and stubborn personality. You're just always on the wrong side. <laughs> You can't just steal and break things because you don't like them. Imagine if I did that to her. There's even laws against stuff like that. It's pretty clear cut who is in the wrong here. Why are you trying to hurt her? It's like you're enjoying trying to turn my mother into the bad guy, making her look evil. Stop looking down on her for trying to help us be more economical. This isn't funny. What is wrong with you? Have you been brainwashed by her or something? From the very beginning, I've tried my best to understand why she's doing this to me. I thought maybe she was trying to help, or just doesn't understand she's upsetting me. I thought about that for weeks, but I just can't see it. She's not doing this to be nice, Alan. It was all intentionally mean. Okay, I mean, if you can't figure it out, it's because you're selfish. You're too immature to listen to anyone else. If you pick a fight with my mother, I'm going to get extremely upset. She's done nothing wrong and is the sweetest person ever. I can't believe you want to upset her over something like this. I mean, even if she had done something wrong, I wouldn't turn on my mother. But she didn't even do that. So basically, I shouldn't be coming to you for anything because you're not going to stand up for me as long as your mother is involved. Yep. Finally, you start to understand. Anyways, before I forget, I'm going out again tonight. Can you make something for dinner when I get home? Pasta or something quick is okay. All right. It'll be here when you get back. Hey, pick up. Answer me. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Uh. Sorry, I wasn't looking at my phone. What happened? I'm on the bus right now, so I can't answer my phone? Just text it to me. It's my mother. She called me crying. She said she's really sick. The doctor told her that she doesn't have long to live. It's terminal. They happened to find out during her routine checkup. We had them test again to make sure, but they said it's pretty likely she won't be here much longer. She got sick, huh? She seemed pretty down lately. Maybe it's from the news? I was surprised to see her like that. <laughs> I didn't think someone like her could get depressed, but I guess everyone does sometimes, especially from something like that. You scared me when you called me panicking like that. That's a relief. What? How can you be so calm? Didn't you hear what I said? It's a terminal illness. She's not going to be okay. How can you joke around at a time like this? My mother is going to die! Yeah, I know she's sick. I read everything you said. And hasn't something like this happened before? 
Are you even sure they're right? Yes, I'm sure. Her doctor is one of the best in the area. You need to believe me. You got a special doctor for her? <laughs> Why are you joking around about this? Did this break your mind or something? You've gone completely crazy. Nothing you're saying makes sense. You're not human. You're a monster. I could say the same thing about your mother. You can't say that. I can't believe you're acting out at a time like this. You've had your fun, now cut it out. Do you not understand what is happening? Are you stupid? Um, yes. Of course I know what's happening. That's why I'm saying it now. I might not get a chance to later. It's something I've thought for a while. I've been planning on saying it anyway after we split up, which I've also been thinking about. I'm talking about divorce, if you didn't take the hint. What? Are you being for real? At a time like this, my mother is suffering and I can't do anything to help. And you want to leave me? Read the room for crying out loud. This is not the time to be thinking about that. We need to be there for my mom. Well, you need to be there for her. It's not my job. I can't deal with her or you anymore. I'm at my limit. So I just thought, well, might as well get it over with. Seems like the best time to do it if I want to. <laughs> it's not every day an opportunity like this happens. A once in a lifetime chance. I can't believe this. Who are you? You're not my wife. You're a monster. No human being could be this cruel. You demon! I don't really care what you think of me. I told you time and time again about all the horrible things your mother's been doing to me. She has been absolutely horrible. I don't have enough energy to worry about something like that. I have no more sympathy to give. Sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> but we... we can't just let this end right now. Think about this. My mother never did anything wrong. She was always trying to help. Didn't do anything wrong? Shall I give you a list? It may help remind you. She stole and used my money whenever she felt like it. She broke so many of my things. She berated me every chance she got. Looking back, I have no idea how I put up with all of it. I could never do that now. If that's how you feel about us, then you just go ahead and just leave. You've been a pain from the start anyway. I got the papers we need already. So since you've got free time now that Mother Dearest is in the hospital, I'd love for you to fill your section out for it. Okay, you can get lost. I'll gladly do it to never see your sorry face again. But first, what about our savings? It should be split between us. I deserve my half as well. Really, you should be giving it all to me. But I know the courts won't allow that because you're too selfish to help out. And I'm going to need that money real bad now. My mother's medical bills are going to take everything I own. I'm feeling generous. You can have all the savings from the joint account. We've only got like 50 bucks in there anyway. Is that going to cover it? <laughs> 50 bucks? There's no way that's all we have. I could have sworn we had at least thousands, even tens of thousands. Are you lying to keep the money? Or did you use it? Did you spend all my money on makeup? Or worse, another man behind my back? Give me back the money you stole. The courts will find out, you know. I'm not lying. You went out every night. If you wanted something, you bought it without a thought. You also used our money to buy stuff for your mother. Remember? You see, Alan, when you use money, it goes away. I don't know if you knew that, but you use the money, so... It goes to follow that there is now no more. If anything, you owe me. That is not true. I never spent that much money. How much did you spend, without asking me? I didn't use any money. Well, I guess maybe I did buy one thing, but that was months ago. I did buy a new tablet for the house a while back, since your mother broke ours. <laughs> Over our entire marriage? I think I've spent mm, seven grand on myself. Oh, bull. 
You spent more than that. No, I didn't. I should know, since I'm the one who keeps track of all of our spending. And let me tell you about your spending. About 30000 And that's an estimate for one year, Alan. If anything, I deserve some recognition for how thrifty I've been. That's not a lot considering how long we've been together, you know. And it's pocket money compared to you. I just can't believe this. You're horrible! I've never met someone as cold and manipulative as you. This entire marriage was a mistake from the start. I can't stand being near you anymore. My mother needs me. You're wasting my time. I can't talk to you anymore. It's making me so mad. Just go and do whatever you want. Get the papers. I'm going to help my mom. Uh, hey. Long time no see, huh? You got a second? Oh, Alan, hello. I thought we were through. Didn't you get everything out of your system already? What could you possibly have to say to me a full year after I left? Let me guess. You need something from me. Money, perhaps? Please, just listen for a second. It's important. I'm not asking for anything like that. Well, it's not exactly like that. Just let me explain. Nope. I'm done hearing you out. There's nothing you could ask that I'd be willing to give. Sorry. Sucks to be you, I guess. Why are you being so mean? I haven't even asked yet. You don't know what I'm here for. We can be strangers. That's fine. But that doesn't mean we can't catch up, right? It's not hurting you to just send a message. All this time, when you didn't send me a single one. Were you expecting me to? How long have you been waiting for me to come back? Oh, you've really changed since we last met. We've been through a lot together, and even more so recently. I miss you. Can we try again? Back to what it was? Wow, right to it. Wasn't expecting that. What do you expect me to say? There's no way you thought there was actually a chance, right? Even for a joke? That's a bit far. That's kind of a creepy thing to say. I'm serious. I've been thinking a lot about how much you did for me, and how well we went together. Could you just think about it? You don't need an answer right away. Just keep it in mind. I think it could really work. I actually already have my answer. And let's see. Nope, not a chance. Did you really think I would just come right back to you? You're more delusional than I thought. But I gotta ask, for curiosity's sake, why are you suddenly bringing this up now? Is there something you want? I'm being serious. Please, just listen to me. Because I see what I did now. I see I was wrong. I'm trying to explain. Just be honest with me. What is your end goal here? You want me to come back for what? Well, basically, my mother has needed a lot of money. You know, with her medical bills and all that. Ah, so you're broke. Yeah, I think the news destroyed her. On the day that she got the news, she just took off with my card. She went on a massive spending spree, spouting nonsense about needing it for later. I tried, but I couldn't even find her to try and stop it. Ah. Huh. That's odd. What does this have to do with me, though? You've always been really good at finances. So I thought maybe we could try and pay it back together? I owe a lot now. She spent more than I had. I can pay you back. I wouldn't even mind giving you an interest, even. But I just need a little bit. Aha! Uh -huh. The truth comes out. So that's your big plan. We get married and I help you pay off your debt. You're just like your mother. Always worried about yourself and your money. Like mother, like son. No, that isn't why I came back. I really do love you, Samantha. I can see that now. I'm not just here for money. It's a lot more complicated than that. Wait, didn't your mother have a terminal illness? If you're helping her pay this, then did she recover? No, she didn't. A few months after that, she passed away. Ah, I see. So, she left you with all the bills? I'm sorry to hear that. Did she not leave you anything else? 
No inheritance or anything? Surely she had life insurance that could have covered it. She refused to get any sort of life insurance. She said she didn't need it. And I was super busy, so I didn't push it at the time. I sold her house to help pay off some of the loan. But it still wasn't enough. I just don't know what to do. I'm broke, and I can't make any more money. You can file for bankruptcy. Oh, please stop joking about this. If I filed for bankruptcy, they would take my house too. I would lose everything. I really don't want to do that. I'm done trying to help you out. I'll be as straightforward as I can. I'm not helping you. What? After everything I told you, you're still going to abandon me. Abandon you? You have nothing to do with me. I'm not moving back in with you, and I'm not helping you pay off your bills. You gotta have a screw loose in your head if you thought there was even a chance I would do either of those things. Please, you can't just move on like that. I would help you too. Think about it. If you come back home, you wouldn't have to pay any rent, right? I can cover that. What? You pay rent? Don't make me laugh. Didn't you just say you're out of money? Wait, I'm not getting through to you. It's because we're texting. Let's talk on the phone. Let me see you in person. That way, you can see how serious I am. We can talk over a nice dinner or a drink. Just a phone call. That's all I need. Or we can video. If you see how much I've changed, you'll understand. Just a few minutes. You can beg all you want. It's fun to watch, actually. I've tried so many times to get you to talk with me. And not once did you listen or help me. And now you expect me to turn around and do that for you? You can beg and plead all night. I'm never seeing you again. You can't fix what you've done to me. In the end, Alan had to sell his house in order to pay off his debt. He sought advice from a financial advisor who mentioned something about liquidation, although I didn't fully understand the details. It's unfortunate, but he only has himself to blame. Just like his mother, he spent every penny without considering his future. And now he's facing the consequences of that lifestyle. However, he should still be grateful that he managed to get out of debt. It's a tough situation, but at least he's making progress. On a brighter note, things have been going well for me. I've taken control of my finances and have been able to save a significant amount of money. Life has become much less stressful. Plus, I've met someone special. I've been seeing this really nice guy I met at a store, and we've been together for a while now. We've even discussed the possibility of marriage, although nothing official yet. Leaving Alan was truly the best decision I've ever made. I've never been happier, and my life keeps getting better and better.